What's going on guys? My name's Corey. Welcome to Tinker Time. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hey, today we got a little towel towel here. Uh, it's taking a lot of throttle to get it to start moving. So uh, we're gonna, I got a parts bike over here. I'm gonna try pulling the clutch out of that and uh, throw it in here and uh, see if that gives us a little bit more power. So uh, I got it up on uh, jack stands. I drained the oil out. So uh, I'll bring you guys in a little closer and walk you guys through the process here. All right, this is the right side of the engine. Uh, Pretty much we need to get under here so pull these uh what is that three four six seven eight bolts out and uh probably get a little messy but let's pull those out real quick deal Now this gasket ripped in a couple spots. I got a new one in there. A uh, whole engine gasket kit for one of these is like $4 off VMC. So uh, I got a new one over there, so we'll put one on. This is your clutch right here. First thing I need to do, just kind of uh, watch how all this stuff comes apart. It's pretty. It's got a little, a lot of parts and pieces. This arm comes off first. This piece comes out next. Next, you're gonna need an impact screwdriver. Uh, to get these four out they're pretty tight and there's a gasket behind it uh and this will under this cover is where the nut is that holds this clutch on so uh let me grab that and i'll be right back all right so this is what's called an impact screwdriver so when you hit it with a hammer it obviously the force goes to the to the uh, screw and it quickly turns it so i find you can get this off of a uh, motor sport is where i got this one um, but so I find if you can press in on it, the less you got, or harder you got to hit it. So and it just turns those out. Spin this around so it's on top. A little bit more, better access. Need a screwdriver to get this plate off. So a lot of times the gasket back here tears too, so I have another one put on it. Make 
Actually, that one didn't tear at all, so that's good. All right, uh, let me fix the camera real quick. If you guys look in here, I'm gonna set this up a little bit better. So if you look in here, there's like a lock washer. You gotta bend those tabs out because there's probably one in the one of the holes of the the nut there. So uh, you gotta bend those out. And then put a special tool on there, which I'll show you guys. All right, so I'll just take a screwdriver. What I'm doing here is just getting those locking tabs out of the way. Alright, well, this is the tool you're going to need. Uh, it just fits in the little slots of that nut. I think that's like $5 on VMC, uh, ChinesePartsCom And they just fit inside the grooves there. I'm going to take an impact. So to this nut, there's a washer, I can get it out, I'm just going to have to pull the whole clutch out. So it's a washer and it says outside on it. So you want to make sure that that washer's where it says outside, it faces outside. And then the locking, the locking plate there. But it, we'll just leave it in there for now so I don't forget. Um, this gear will slide off. And then there's a little sleeve that goes on there. We're not going to mess with that. So I'll just put it back on. All we're going to do is be just replacing this clutch here. So uh, let me go grab the other one and get it swapped out. See if it works. Welcome back, all you cool cats and kittens. I got the other clutch off of there, off that other bike, and uh, ready to throw it on here and see if it does the trick. Just, just gonna clean this up a little bit. Uh, you can't see it. All right, so I got the washer in there. The washer and the nut and everything needs to go on there. Just slide it on. Lock washer. Washer says outside on it. Put that on. And the nut. Fancy tool here. 
Hit it with a couple of Ugga Duggas. Probably like three Ugga Duggas. That should be sufficient. Yaga Douglas. Nice sticker. One of these hopefully lines up for you. Uh, in my case, they don't. So I'm gonna hit it with one more Yaga Douglas and see if it lines up. Let's see if I can make that work. I got hustled by a little 12 year old kid today. He told me this thing was in great shape, ready to ride. Battery was magically dead, so I couldn't test ride it. And I brought it home, jumped it off, and sure enough, it needed a clutch. That's all right. It reminds me of myself when I was a kid. So I gave him what he wanted for it. And Four screws after that cover goes on. Alright. The bearings sometimes fall out of there, so don't forget that. Presses right in here. Just like that. This piece here. Right in there. And this set connects to your shift shaft, and it's just going to sit in this groove right here. like that so that's that's it and uh, I'm gonna get this gasket off here I got a I got a new one so I'm gonna clean the old stuff up I'll put it back on put oil in it and we'll see if it works all right guys we got our oil back in it and uh, we're gonna take it for a test ride before uh, I changed the clutch on it. Uh, it didn't want to move with me at all. It took like a lot of RPMs just to even get it to budge. So uh, I don't have a battery in it yet, so we're just going to jump it off and uh, we'll just push start it and then uh, we'll take off down the road there. So let's do it. <clears throat> it's going to get a little bumpy here. But... on the road.
like I did the trick. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, clutch replacement's pretty simple on that. You can get a, a whole assembly there for about 20, 30 bucks. Amazon or VMC Chinese parts. Uh, just do what I just did on it and you'll be good to go. The symptoms would be uh, taking a lot of throttle to uh, get moving on it. So uh, once it was taking a lot of RPMs for it to go earlier, I knew that the clutch was uh, bad on it. So I had a parts bike sitting here, so I just pulled it off that one and it's running great now. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, be on the lookout for more content. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, Carol Baskins killed her husband. Catch you on Flip Flop.